tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. And uh, tonight, what I what I want to do is I want to give uh, some relaxing, some entertainment and relaxing music and some entertaining music to our guests. And I'm sure that the audience will see a diff three different uh, I, three different concepts of jazz with the three of you in my show. And uh, I know that uh, what's important is that with the digital platform, the 81 radio can bring all of you to the whole world and all the Pinoys, not just in Manila, but in the USA, in parts of Asia, Australia, madami tayong mga kababayan na nakikinig ngayong gabi. Iba yung, so, iba yung naging ano ko eh, focus ko nung <laughs> nag-decide ako to to be a singer. Uh, my Basically, their music is more of the pop standard. And I chose to be different. <laughs> yeah, what's interesting about that last play you did, Bluebird of Happiness, was uh, that you, pray, you played a very interesting character, right? You, with a beautiful yes. color. <laughs> I was the villain. I was the villainous cat. Yes. I was the villainous cat in that play. And it's so interesting because um, I'm actually what they call a cat lady. I have eight cats of my own. <laughs> wow. So, you were so a natural. Yeah. Yes, it's, you were a natural. I always yes. keep on thinking about you every time I have a, a corporate event that needed a solo, a jazz soloist. Yeah. You know, but, I, but, when I first saw it, I, I was so surprised because... Um, it's not the kind of song that you would normally hear as a jazz piece, but I really yeah. love the way Bond reworked the whole yeah. song and gave it that swing, Fever. jazzy. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 he sort of uh, gave it a, a fever inflection. Are you familiar with fever? Right. Yes, yes, yes that song. Sexy. Yeah. yeah, that's sexy. I know that song, Fever. I, uh, I, and... Um, it, it suits the mood, the tone of uh, that, that song. That's so why it actually sort of enhanced it, you know, from being a, a jumpy dance to a more yeah. sexy, sultry, jazzy piece. I think the, the love for the music, the love, the camaraderie, the artistry and the friendship, what you and Van started years ago, you know, uh, the, 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 the passion was still there when I saw this piece yeah. and... and you guys are, you know, just swinging and having such a fantastic time. And, uh, uh, you know, I loved it because it was just bluesy, edgy, you know, uh, again, something which is, which is a mark of all your performances, Lynn. I was you know, really uh, admiring all the efforts, no, that, that they took. And, and I, I thought it was like just some amazing, amazing thing that came together like a, almost like a miracle and I found it really brilliant and the audience response to it was fantastic right and then and the nation started pouring in and I was thinking uh, I would love to to be part of it and and you know to do my bit and then one day the, the chance came so even if I was like I was terrified actually <laughs> I get terrified. Um, I've seen you in a lot of uh, major stages, like uh, and some bar gigs that you did in the past. Uh, most notable was your one-woman show at the Manila Hotel at the Tap Room. I remember that show very yeah. well. Yeah, and uh, I remember that. Um, I think you know. Uh, prior to that, I've seen you in some uh, gigs with with different artists as well. But that particular show struck me. Because it um, it it differentiated you from the diff from the other jazz artists or pop or uh, club gigs, club artists, no club based artists. Uh -huh. Because you were the only one that I knew at that time, and I think even now that a Manila based uh, artist who can do jazz and standards play the piano and sing at the same time. And I told, I asked myself. Wow, you know, that's very unique. That really makes you unique. And um, uh, in the tradition of ladies of uh, note like Diane Shore and Diana Krall, who made their mark, 
you know, playing the piano and doing their their singing at the same time. And um, you know, that's why when I was thinking of tonight's show, I said it won't be complete without Rika Arambolo. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Times like this, it's so comforting to listen to beautiful Filipino music. Thank you for that selection, Rika. I found myself very interested uh, in fooling around on the, on the piano on, the, on different instruments. And so I was very active. You know, I'm Polinian like you. Okay? Yes. You know how active they are in in the arts and so arts. yeah so they brought up the different facets of my musicality as well and then of course uh, my mom i think one day decided to enter me in a national competition for piano okay and uh i had to do it and i survived and i think i i did well and so and ever since that well, once in a while, I would do competitions. Although I didn't want it to be my sport, eh. you know what I mean? Like, uh, yes. yeah, I'm not that competitive actually. But I do it once in a while to make me work. <laughs> so I used to do that. And then I majored in music, uh, uh, Bachelor of Music major in piano, minor in voice, and I had also another major in composition. Yeah. So, so yeah. Wow. there. Then I did exercise. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.